It is the third day of major unrest in the Armenian capital. Protesters in Yerevan have been demonstrating against a sharp spike in electricity prices. Thousands of protesters attempted to march from Freedom Square to the presidential palace yesterday. On Tuesday, the country's president, Serge Sargsyan, expressed a willingness to discuss the issue with representatives of the protest movement. But demonstrators insist the meeting can only take place if it's broadcast live on television. The path to the president's residence was blocked off by police equipped with batons and shields. Demonstrators built barricades to resist attempts to forcefully disperse their sit-in. Our correspondent, Ilya Petrenko, is in Yerevan. We are in the city of Yerevan, the capital of Armenia, where a very big crowd of determined protesters spent the whole night in the streets. The parliament building is a couple of hundred meters away, and these two huge police vehicles appear to be guarding it, but there's no one near them. So I'm going to get through this police cordon and see what's going on. Most of the people in this crowd spend the entire night here and the person who's standing on uh, this barricade right now has just announced that there are no plans to leave this place until the goals of the protesters are reached. So as we've just found out, this protest is purely social. In the last few years in Armenia, there have been three hikes in electricity prices. But as you can see, the one right now is causing quite an outcry. Many of these protesters stayed here for the whole night. They don't want to go anywhere. So is the police. But so far, everything that's happening on this square in central Yerevan looks very peaceful. Если нам нельзя, мы выключим камеру, не проблема. Я не говорю, что нам нельзя. Я говорю, вы спрашивали кого-то. Вы прошло зашли за ограждение. Но это менты. Это люди обычные, нормальные. То они просто не будут уходить, они будут стоять до последнего, пока наши требования не будут исполнены. How long? Do you want to spend here hours, days? Weeks? Weeks. Weeks. Months. Yeah, uh, I'm ready for everything just to reach the our goal. The народ взялся за это дело. Народ вместе. Народ не разделим. Мы должны победить. У нас есть цель, цель, и мы должны достигнуть этой цели. Мы просто слышали слово провокация несколько раз. Ну, именно... это они тоже заметили об этом. И они говорили, что среди них э, есть, бывают иногда провокаторы. Этот вопрос они подняли. Этот вопрос подняли они. И да. если провокации будут, вы будете действовать в случае отсутствия провокации. Пока что мы воздержимся от любого вот, действия. Почему? Потому что мероприятие носит мирный характер.